All right, before we get into our little block right here, I'm just gonna kind of demonstrate kind of the ideas behind Inventor and how we go from those 2D sketches to extruding it to 3D sketches to adding shapes onto that. So I'm gonna hit Start Sketch. So again, don't follow along. You can follow along if you want to, but I'm just gonna demonstrate kind of the basics right here. All right, so I'm gonna always start with a 2D sketch. So up here in the top left, Start 2D Sketch. I need to pick which plane I want to draw on. For right now, I'm gonna click on this one. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's just make a house. Okay. So I've got my X and my Y axes. This is my origin right here. That's my zero point. Now you could make something way out here. It doesn't really matter. Like I can make something out here, but it's always just kind of good practice to use the origin, to use these lines whenever you need to. So like if I'm gonna make a house, I'm just gonna make this line my ground. All right. So right here, I have what's called a sketch. Um, there's nothing on it yet, because I haven't made anything yet. I'm gonna add a rectangle. So I'm gonna click rectangle. I'm going to click. I'm going to let go of the mouse. And I'm going to move the mouse without holding down the button. And I'm gonna click again. Now you can see those numbers right there, so I can get an exact, like if I wanted exactly eight inches by four inches, uh, I can get close. Or if you see that it's highlighted in blue there, what I can do is I can type in a number. So if I want an eight inch by four inch rectangle, um, so right there, the one that's highlighted in blue is my height. So I'm gonna just type four on the keyboard. If I wanna get to that other box, that eight inch up there, I'm gonna hit tab on my keyboard. On the far left above caps lock, hit tab. That'll bring me to that other box. I'm gonna type in eight and I'm gonna hit enter. Because I've already set this up in inches, I don't have to write inches. It knows, hey, I'm working in inches. But right here, now I have a nice eight by four rectangle. I'm gonna hit finish sketch. So like I told you, we're gonna start with a two dimensional and then we stretch it out into three dimensions. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Um, one thing I didn't say, uh, after I drew that rectangle, I hit this finish sketch button up here. So I'm done drawing my two dimensions. Now I wanna work in three dimensions, I'm gonna hit finish sketch. So a lot of what you're gonna be doing is kind of going left to right on the top bar. All right. Um, let's make this three inches wide. So I'm gonna hit extrude right here. What extrude does is it takes that shape and it pulls it out into three dimensions. Um, let's, so I can grab this, I can, you know, I can get close, but we wanna get exact, so I'm just going to hit three right here or in this box right here, I'm gonna type in three and hit enter. So now I have a box that is four inches long, three inches wide, or I'm sorry, eight inches, three inches, four inches. Um, let's put a roof on this house right here. So I'm going to need to make a new shape. So in order to do that, I need to make a new sketch. So I'm gonna hit start 2D sketch and it's gonna ask me, where do I wanna draw? If you're ever not sure what it's asking for in that bottom left corner right here, it's saying select plane to create sketch or an existing sketch to edit. So select a plane to draw on. So let's draw on this plane right here. So now I've got my 2D drawing tools again. Let's, uh, let's make this a little house with a roof. All right, so let's come over here. I'm just gonna draw. You see when I'm getting close, it says, hey, you probably wanna line it up right there. So it's gonna try its best to help you out. But you see that little line right there? Let's close that shape up. Let's hit finish sketch and let's extrude that this way. You can just kind of grab that, come this way. All right. You see, you see I can kind of rotate around. I can, I can bring it out a little bit more if I want to. Hit OK. Uh, let's add a little door. I'm going to start a sketch right here. Let's put a rectangle here. I'm just kind of doing this really quickly so you can kind of see 
how this software works. So now I've got this rectangle right here. I can bring this out or I can kind of cut it into that right there. So they call that a cut. So I'm taking that rectangle and I'm going in. Um, let's, uh, let's make this a little hollow on the inside. So let's start on the bottom. Finish my sketch and let's bring that up. So right here I've got just a little house, just a quick little sketch. Um, you'll notice I can't see inside of that. If I want to see inside to see my hidden lines, if I click up here under view, under visual style, I have it's defaulting to shaded with edges. I'm going to put shaded with hidden edges. And so there you can see on your drawing, I don't know if you can see it on my screen very well, but you can see kind of the dotted lines that go up there. So I can kind of see through it right here. All right. And if I wanted to keep editing, playing around with this, I can. Um, like if I wanted another window, you know, I can put a little rectangle right here, or I can put a little circle right here. And then I can extrude those. And if I want to go all the way through, Let's just bring it all the way through. What I did right there is I just cut it all the way through the back side. There's also a button that says through all, which will just go through everything. And so now you can see I've got that. All right. So there's a beautiful house. Um, just to kind of show you that you make a shape, make a two dimensional shape, then you make that three dimensions, and then you work off of that to make whatever shapes you want. So, like, if we're going to be making our block, what we're going to end up doing is like make a rectangle we're going to extrude that rectangle we're going to then draw you know the studs on there let's just pretend those are all my studs and then we're going to extrude those. And then if we want to, we can then you know, go to each one of these studs and bring that down. So you can kind of see where we're going with this. All right. If you want to, take a few minutes, make a house, play around with it. Um, but now, um, I'm going to pause right here, and I'm going to talk about moving around.